Well, hello there, you. How lovely is it to see your terrible, terrible face. Welcome back to Adventures with Yours Truly, where today we continue our celebration of the holiday season. As you can see, I have set up my tree, and also, as you can see, Vanny is dressed for the occasion. What are we doing today, you're wondering? Well, I'll tell you. Now, this time of year, there is a fine delicacy that many people enjoy. What is this delicacy, you ask? Well, it is none other than eggnog. That's right, folks. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. Eggnog. But in all seriousness, very many people really do enjoy this fine milky drink. Will I enjoy it? There's only one way to find out, and that's through experimentation. So what will I be doing today? I will be taste testing and reviewing not one, not two, not three, not four, but six, we skip the number five, don't ask why, six different types of eggnog. That's right, six. So, if I take the very first sip and absolutely despise it, I have five more chances to change my mind. So, without further ado, I won't keep you waiting any longer, let's go ahead and pour our very first glass. I have no particular order I am going in, so I am simply going to reach for one and begin. Why not start with the very first one I picked up, which is rich and creamy, Eggnog. Oh. It's very crusty on the top. I'm sure that's fine. Whoa! It smells like Christmas, but I don't know if it smells like Christmas in a good way or a very, very bad way. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? It's so thick that you can't even hear it pouring into the glass. Is it supposed- is eggnog supposed to be this thick? Does it have eggs in it? Hold on, does this- does eggnog have eggs? Contains milk and egg. Delicious. I'm getting my daily dose of protein. Well, cheers to the holiday season. I'll drink to that. <laughs> uh. Well, bottoms up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. Nope, it's still in my mouth. Oh, okay. Wow. That was very thick, extremely thick, uncomfortably thick, and very sweet to the point where I can still feel it on my tongue. Don't take any of that out of context. Ever. Or I will hunt you down. Anyways, it's not the worst thing I have ever tried in my entire life doing these sorts of things. However, it is, um, not my favorite. I will say that, but that's okay. My opinion on eggnog has not yet been set in stone. I still have five more chances to make up my mind. So let's proceed, shall we? Next up, we have Shamrock's Heavy Whipping Cream Ultra Pasteurized. That's not eggnog, this is heavy whipping cream. How did this get here? Okay, this just in. I will have four. One, two, three, four more chances to change my mind because it turns out that one of our eggnogs was an imposter and it is instead heavy whipping cream. Hey, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. Why not? Cheers. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, God. Timmy, you're not helping. You know, that was a bad idea. I let my intrusive thoughts get the best of me. I let my impulses take over and I thought I was brave. Turns out it was a terrible decision. 
I'm ready for the next actual eggnog instead of the imposter. <laughs> but first, a drink of water. Ah, good water. The real next eggnog is silk nog, which I'm assuming means that this is made out of an almond milk base as opposed to a cow milk base. So this is vegan friendly. Ooh, wow. This one does have a more cinnamony, nutmeggy, nutty scent to it. It's got a very heavy aroma. Oh, too much, too much. Oh. Okay, actually it's not that bad because it's not as thick. See, this one is much more thin. So this should be quite interesting compared to the other ones I've tried thus far. All right, here we go. The almond eggnog. That makes sense. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, it has layers. Oh, it's like an onion, it has layers. Oh, that was such an adventure. It felt like I was chewing on pine cones and then sniffing pine needles and then drinking a glass of cinnamon and riding on a sleigh in Santa's lap and eating a snowman and making a gingerbread house. Are you following? Yeah, that about sums it up. Very Christmassy. If Christmas had a flavor and it was very watery, this is what it would be. I suppose it's fitting for the occasion, but I'm not... I don't love it. But that's okay, I still have three more chances to um, remedy that. Next we have... Oh good, it's Shamrock again, but don't worry. It's not heavy whipping cream. This is actual eggnog and it is Irish whiskey flavored. I am uh, concerned about the whiskey part, but we'll see how this turns out. Oh good, the seal is still on. That's always a good sign. If the seal were broken, I would have been a little more concerned. It does not taste good in the eye. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Let me try again. Uh, nope. Wow. That triggered a genuine gag. That triggered... That triggered an honest gag reflex. That's a great sign. Oh, this is... Oh, this one's gonna be splendid. This one's gonna be brilliant. This one's gonna be everything I've ever hoped and dreamed for. This is going to be delicious. It's going to taste like Christmas. It's gonna taste like Santa Claus's... Beard. No. No, that's terrible. Oh god, that's terrible. Well, let's give it a chance. Sometimes things don't taste the way they smell. Oh god. I'm just gonna pour a glass and then I'm going to taste it. Why is this one so yellow? Why is it so yellow? Why? Why are you yellow? Why are you- You're orange! Why are you orange? The other ones were cream color. You're yellow orange. You're yorange. Why are you yorange? Oh, it doesn't smell any better in the glass. Oh, it, do it smells worse in the glass. This is fine. This is gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. We're doing this in the name of Christmas and the holidays and the festive spirit. We are doing this to have a lovely time. Please pray for me. Even Jesus can't save me from this. I've brought this fate upon myself, haven't I? <laughs> Cheers! mother of Jesus on a sleigh with 15 reindeer in the snow. Ooh, Christmas. Oh, I taste Christmas. I taste so much Christmas. Wow. 
Christmas is in my soul. Oh my god, Irish whiskey Christmas is in my spirit. You know, I really, I really have nothing to say other than that. Anyways, I'm just gonna put the lid back on this because the last thing I'd want to do is spill this everywhere and have to smell it for the rest of my life because I can't get it out of the rug and the table. You go in time out and think about what you've done. Oh God, get it away from me. I don't want it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to smell it. I don't want to picture the flavor. In fact, Oh, oh no. Oh, brain freeze. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh, Christmas is in my brain. Wow, who knew that Christmas was going to be this exciting this year? Oh God, I can still smell it. Oh, I can smell it from way over here. Oh God. No, you know what? You, no, you're, no. You've been banished. Three down, two to go. Four down if you count the imposter eggnog, which was also terrible. But anyways, we are moving on to number five, which is... That's backwards. Unless you'd like to know the nutritional facts. It is... This guy. What is it? Pumpkin-flavored eggnog. Rich and creamy. Oh, great. Oh, I just... I just... Oh, oh I love rich and creamy. <laughs> Oh! See, now pumpkin flavors let me down pretty severely during the fall season. So we'll see how, um, how it does in an eggnog. I really hate the sound of it pouring. Although very minimal as it is, I still hate it. Well, here we go. Um, pumpkin flavored, rich and creamy, just the way I like it. No. Cheers, everyone. Pumpkin, rich and creamy eggnog. <laughs> oh. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Oh, this one's nice. Oh, thank God. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Vanny, I didn't mean it. I'm so sorry. I was just basking in this relief that I feel overwhelming me. Oh, finally, a good one. Oh, oh, Jesus, he's saved me. Oh, praise be the Lord, praise be the Holy Spirit, whatever it's called, I've been saved. Oh, thank you, baby Jesus. Well, would you look at that, my fate has done a 180, and this is actually enjoyable. You know what, I think something about the pumpkin really reels back the eggy taste of the eggnog, that weird tang you get from it. The pumpkin really helps um mellow that out. Now would I drink an entire glass of this? <laughs> oh, you bet not. But would I tolerate this much? Oh sure, no problem. Oh, that was too big. Oh, that was too big of a gulp. Oh, I was very confident. I was overconfident. Oh, small sips. I can tolerate, oh, I can tolerate it in small sips. Now, last but not least to try out of these six, well, five genuine eggnogs is something very special compared to the rest. Hence this fancy glass. Now, what is it? I'll show you. It is. Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. This stuff is, um, potent. So out of all six, well, five eggnogs I have tried, this should be the most capable of solidifying my opinion on eggnog. Oh. Sorry, I was just letting it sink in the thing that I'm about to do. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but this um, probably won't be one of them. Well, into the glass. Sorry, I was so fascinated by the sound that I didn't quite realize how much I had poured. 
<laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, on a pogo stick. Wow. Well then, here we go. The final sip out of all of the eggnogs. Cheers, everyone, and happy holidays. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm fine. <coughs> no. Oh, wow, Christmas burns. What is in this? Rum, brandy, and blended whiskey. Ho, 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 indeed. One ho for each ounce of liquor I just took a sip of. Sorry, I was transporting to a winter wonderland. I'm just gonna set this dangerous weapon aside. Well, excuse me. Oh, you could probably light my burps on fire right now. Well then, I believe that will do it for this adventure. Now, what is my opinion on eggnog after trying five different versions? Would I drink it... electively? No. Would I drink it... non-electively if someone were threatening me with my life? Sure. I could tolerate it. Although the sweet release of death is kind of nice. Although I do always come back, so it's really quite pointless. <laughs> uh, I'm Jesus. I died. I came back. I'm Jesus. Ha! Eureka! <laughs> I just had the greatest epiphany of my entire life. The life that I live because I am undead and immortal. <laughs> like Jesus! <laughs> Maybe there was something in that last eggnog, for sure. Yeah. I do hope you enjoyed this taste-testing adventure. What is your opinion on eggnog? Feel free to comment maybe what your favorite type of eggnog is, if you have a favorite. And if you absolutely despise eggnog, then I think we'll actually get along, unlike the people who are commenting what their favorite type is right now. Yeah, you're all insane. If you did enjoy this adventure, please, for the sake of my sanity and well-being, like this video. Share it with your pals, if you have any, so that they too can suffer with us. And as always, yes, I will say it again, even during this time of year, where everything seems to be jolly and bright, check the shadows, for you never know what may be lurking within them. And that's all for now. I will be back, as I always do come back, and I will see you on our next adventure. Goodbye for now, and a happy, happy new year.